Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. I get lots of questions about the care, management, and breeding of pigs. What kind of fence do you use? What breed of pigs do you raise? How do you breed your pigs? All kinds of questions. But today I'm gonna to answer one of the most important questions that I can think of related to the care of our swine friends. And that's, will a pig eat it? Got some stuff we're gonna experiment with. So uh, hang out with us for a little bit. Let's see if a pig will eat fill in the blank. Okay, so we had a friend bring by some out of date fruits and vegetables that she normally feeds a lot of this to her goats. She's also got some pigs. I think she feeds some of it to them too. But uh, want us to try it and uh, see what we could do with it. First thing there, we got a bunch of bananas. I know they'll eat those. And then we got a man, that baby. Uh, watermelon. Got some peppers. Uh, some uh, some apples. There's a pine. There's a pineapple in there. Let's see what they do with that. Cantaloupe. See if, they, see if they eat the cantaloupe. I think they probably will. Red onion. I don't know what they'll do with that. And then a box of some lettuce. So let's uh, let's take this out and uh, let's see what they do with this. Be interesting. Will a pig eat it? The lucky winners of our experiment are going to be this gilt group right here. This is a young group of gilts. Um, Hamlet, one of our boars, is in with this group. Um, group uh, gilt groups uh, that are not uh, that are not lactating. Of course, at that point they would be sows. Get five pounds of feed per pig per day. So these girls have been fed once today, um, but we're going to give them a little treat here and see. What they uh, what they think about these goodies? Okay, right out of the gate, um, everybody is over at the fence. I got one girl that's not over at the fence. Everybody's over at the fence, and they're interested in what we have. So let's start with a uh, with a thing of lettuce and see what our interest is there. Y'all want some lettuce? So we got one over here that's interested a little bit in the lettuce. Everybody else is kind of sniffing around. Let's uh, let's try the red onion. Very little interest in the onion. I'm out of cantaloupe. Oh, man. That thing smells phenomenal. Huh. Might have to save one of those for myself. So now we're working on the onion a little bit. 
Oh yeah, the cantaloupe's a hit. Ah, oh, pepper. So far we don't seem very interested in the lettuce or the onion. watermelon here. We've given pigs watermelons in the past and they typically love it. The easiest way to do a watermelon is just bust it on the ground. So from a very non-scientific observation, it looks like the um, watermelon is definitely a, uh, a pig favorite. Cantaloupe, well, they went to the cantaloupe pretty good. Not very interested in the peppers or the lettuce. Um, not very interested in the potatoes or the onion. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that watermelon is definitely on the list of must-haves. The uh, pineapple, kind of hidden up and under her right there. Doesn't look like anybody was very interested in the pineapple either. So I only had one of those. And uh, over here, see they cleaned that rind out pretty good. So yeah, watermelon is definitely high on the list. And uh, bananas somewhat, there's a few bananas left. Just kind of threw them out here to the side. But the ones that were tossed over here in the middle of everybody, they seem to be, uh, uh, they seem to be vaporized pretty good. So, watermelon, bananas, cantaloupe, apples. The apple's gone. There's a tomato. What's left of it? They didn't do much with it. Um, so apples, bananas, cantaloupe, watermelon, and uh, those seem to be the big, the big faves among the girls here. So. <laughs> You know, we got plenty. Let's uh, let's go up to the feeder group, the ones that we're wanting to fatten up, and uh, let's give them the bulk of what's left and uh, see what they do. I need to peel some of these stickers off here on some of this stuff, but uh, let's go up and give some to uh, our feeder group, see what they like. They might like something different. All right, so I don't know what, if any, interest these guys are going to have in anything. Um, they get free choice feed as much as they want when they want it. Let's try some apples out here. Get rid of those. I need to cut those up. Now, these are mushy. I know everybody carries a, a if you're farming or you're working outside everybody carries a pocket knife I found these at um, I found them at Smoky Mountain Knife Works over in uh, Sevierville Tennessee 
but it's you can also pick them up on Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is called a these are Rough Rider knives. Um, they are uh, foreign made. I think maybe they're made in China. I don't know, but they do come with a lifetime guarantee. Um, hold up really well. I've been carrying this one here for about six months now. Have never sharpened it, uh, but use it daily to open feed bags and. As you can see, cut up fruit. This is just a two-blade trapper knife. Um, handy little knife. I mean, it's, you know, something to carry in your pocket. And I think it was like 16 17 bucks. So if you lose it, you're not out anything. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description down below for uh, some of these Rough Rider knives. In case you're wondering, we are feeding organic. Only the best for our pigs. Okay, so like their neighbors down off the hill, um, these guys have gone for the apples quick. Uh, the cantaloupes, not quite as much, um, but they did go for the bananas pretty good. So, uh, yeah, so good way to feed your animals um, if you can pick up some ex excess food, um, fruits, vegetables, and that kind of thing. We don't feed any meat, uh, any leftover or out-of-date meat to these animals. There's some regulations related to having to cook it to a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. We just don't have time to, to spend the energy and the effort to do that. But if you know if you can pick up some free bananas and apples and watermelons and cantaloupes and that kind of thing, um, yeah, that's a great way to uh, supplement what these guys are eating. Give them a little treat. It's a quality of life thing, uh, especially for those pigs that are on daily ration feeds and only getting uh, so many pounds per pig per day. Um, Probably not so much for these guys because they've got the bulk feeder over there and they get all they want when they want it. But uh, yeah, a little cantaloupe, a little apple, a little watermelon, a little banana. Everybody likes the fruit. So I thought this would be a fun little video to do, um, just kind of seeing, <laughs> seeing what those pigs would and, uh, and would not eat. Um, like I said a minute ago, you know, if you can get some excess food, um, fruits, vegetables, and that kind of thing uh, that you can feed to your animals, it is a good way to supplement, uh, supplement their diet and uh, you know, offset maybe a little bit of your feed costs um, and uh, give them a little treat, a little quality of life thing. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna post a link to another video over here where we're talking about feeding pigs and getting some uh, other free food. So if you like this video, check that one out. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, we've got a bunch of new folks that have been joining us, so hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. We appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.